Hi everyone, it's me Maddie, and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Today is a Sims video because today I am showing you guys my current household. I am currently playing the Sims 4, but I'm doing the Sims 3 version of the Sims 4 Whimsy Challenge legacy challenge. This is obviously inspired by Nixel, who is currently playing this challenge. Am I further along than her? Yes. Yes, I am. But uh, that's because I'm not publishing it to the internet. This is their house. So if you don't know what the Whimsy Story challenge, legacy challenge is, it's basically a different, it's like not so berry and the, um, what's it called? The... <sighs> It's not all in, it's, there's the all, there's an all in one legacy, there's the, um, oh my god, what's it called? It's a, uh, oh my god, it's not a, it's a legacy challenge, but it's where you play, you play one pack, and then at the end of that generation, you add another pack. I can't remember it at the moment, Nixel's doing it. Everybody was doing it for a while, but this is the Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge. So, let me tell you what Generation 1 is. Without a home, but not without love. Our story begins, as most stories do, with endurance. You are homeless. You've gone out into the world with nothing but a tent and a dream. As a child, you never had your own home. You were bounced from place to place, always dreaming of a suburban home to call your own. Obviously, I have adjusted the rules a little bit because this isn't suburban, but it's suburban within Monte Vista, which is where my Sims live. You are tired of everything around you being turbulent and broken, so you search for joy in the mundane. Life is lonely at first, but fortunately, you find love with another homeless Sim. You have nothing, but it feels like absolutely everything with your partner by your side. You are carefree, nature-loving, and a naive Na na naive dreamer. Some may call you hippie, but you just call yourself happy. From the ground up, you create. You create candles, fabricate your own furniture, and we change it a little bit. Um, so we had to find love while homeless, which we did. He wasn't homeless, but he looked homeless, so I just said he was homeless, stolen from the family EA had put with him, and wada bing, wada bang, now we are married to him. We need to name all our children after nature, which I did to an extent, but I did kind of bend it a little bit, and I'll tell you why. Uh, we must live in a suburban style tiny home that you build cheat free for the entire life. Uh, we don't have tiny homes in The Sims. Three, and this is a small, it's a starter home that I edited to make fit the family. Trust me, it is small, and I furnished it, and it looks like a very small, cozy house. We need to foster a healthy garden. We need to be a plant parent. Uh, the house is supposed to be full of plants. It's not, but the outside is. Uh, we need to have at least three tattoos. We need to master fabrication, handiness, and wellness. I've changed that to cooking and gardening. So, yes. We need to have love the outdoor and freegan. So, love the outdoors and or mooch. Or and mooch slash freegal tray. Uh, complete the maker aspiration. I gave her the learn all the recipes. But she still, she hasn't done that. So, and then be self-employed. She's not employed at all. And rarely wear makeup, love to dress casually. Yeah, I forgot about that, but she does dress pretty casually. She got married in a pretty casual wedding dress. So, without further ado, let's it. Let me show you guys my family. So, I'm not quite sure if Monte Vista is a Spanish-inspired town or Italian. Maybe Spanish-Italian. I don't really know what this world is supposed supposed to be based off of but for me I went Italian Spanish Italian um, so my family is actually both um, well my my founders Italian and then she married Eduardo who's more Spanish so I feel like this is more of a Spanish town but also this my lighting mod in this town is just Gorgeous! I love this lighting mod. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That is stunning. Stunning. And also Ela kicked on. But if you've watched if you watched my decades challenge, those six episodes, you know Ela likes to kick on when I film. 
So, this is our house. As you can see, it is very busy. We have a beautiful, okay, there's a ball under the car. That's not. Also, this lot, gnomes. Gnomes, gnomes, all around gnomes. And I'm tired of them. We get so much money from gnomes, it's unbelievably insane. Uh, so I don't sell them anymore. But we have a beautiful little truck. You know, we have a farm. We need it. We have a cow. We have three cows. They don't have names. We have chickens. They don't have names. Um, we have a garden. It's not a super big garden, but it's about as big of a garden that my sim, Adelina, can keep up on with her children. And then this is uh, the dog house because we, this house was literally so small. We had two dogs. We only have one now. I put another one up for adoption. I just... We didn't have the space for them, so they they became outdoor dogs. Um, let me show you guys the house. It's super cute, and I love how like quaint and small it is. So you walk in, it's a four-seater dining table, so we're going to have some problems there. Um, and then this is the living room. Our dog needs some attention. As you can see, it's very small. It's got a lot of toys all over the place. It looks like a, a place kids live, you know. Um, the porta pot, the porta potty, the potty chairs right there. It, they're always in the most random of places. There's only one bathroom. I'm sorry for walking on you, Rafa. I apologize. We'll leave. Um, uh, this is like a starter home, so it's the same exact layout just with nicer furniture this is the kitchen this hasn't changed much except for the fact that i added that um and then upstairs was a loft area and i just made it into two bedrooms right here is the kids room it's not that big at all um <laughs> So, we got a set of bunk beds for our kids, and then we have a crib for our youngest. And then, in here is, uh, voila, the master. Very fancy, I know. So, that's a very, very quick house tour, because that's literally as big of, that's how big our place is. So, let me show you guys our founder as soon as she looks up. She does have three tattoos. Okay, she's doing the dishes. Being a mother. Okay, would you turn around? Okay, Adelina, please turn around. Thank you. Okay, so this is Adelina. She is very pretty. She was originally, I originally made this sim uh, off of a book character from one of my books I have outlined. I can't say writing because I've literally written a chapter of it. So, mm. but this is what. I took her because I didn't want to make a sim, and I just changed her looks and made her a little bit more Italian, but not super Italian because I just didn't want to. I... Yeah. Anyway, this is her. Her name is Adelina Alicio, but her original last name was Lucia, and she loves the outdoors. She's a natural cook, eco-friendly, frugal, and a green thumb. She's very much so the outdoor person. She likes the color orange, spaghetti, and Latin music. She's a uh, Virgo, and she has 19 days until she becomes an elder. Uh, she's got some pretty good, okay, doesn't have any relationships. She's not got a job. These are her skills, you know, five in athletic. I do think I want her to master the athletic skill before um, she dies, because that would go with um, the wellness you know, so gardening, uh, cooking, and wellness is what I want her to master. She's so close to gardening, she's working on the cooking and stuff like that. Her lifetime wish is to learn every base game recipe. Um, a lot is in our inventory, <laughs> even some pickled eggs. Yum. And, uh, yeah. She's got a lot of lifetime reward points, and I don't know what to do with them. So... Anywho, that is Miss Adelina. And then the Sim who looked homeless and I stole was Mr. Eduardo Gills. What was his last name originally? He had his last name was Eduardo Gills Carpo. Whatever that last name right there is. That's what his original last name was and I decided to change it so he has 
a mixture of the idea that I have this Monte Vista. So if you don't know, Eduardo Gil's Car Carbo is a sim who has a child with Carlotta. I'm pretty sure they're married. Um, and he looks homeless. I'm just saying, he looks like a homeless dude. At least I decided he would look homeless and not just like a farmer, okay? He was a musician. He didn't look like a musician at all. I don't know. But I took him and I made him a firefighter, if you can't tell. And I made him look pretty good. I didn't change any of his features except for his lips. And I changed his jaw a little bit to make it more you know, make it a little bit more fun and less like an EA made base sim. So this is him. He is a lot older than Adelina. He ages up in eight days to an elder and he wants to have another kid. We have three kids and as you can tell, we don't have a lot of space. So I think I'm going to roll, a, I'm going to have them, I'm going to roll a, I'm either going to have them risky woohoo like three times or I'm going to have, no, I think I'm just going to roll a dice. I'm going to do random number generator. Like if it's one, they'll have a kid. If it's two, they won't have a kid. Or I'll do something like that. Maybe the die will be easier like one through, one through three, they have a kid. Three or four through six, they don't have a kid. So, you know what? Let me get the die real quick. We'll be using die from my favorite board game, Quix, or it's a very fun game, by the way. So let's roll one of the die, and if it's one through three, they're having another kid. If it's four through six, they're not. He wants to have another kid. He's like super old, and I want her to like get to mastering her skills, so let's see. It's a six, they're not having another one. Oh, but I kind of want them to have another one. Okay, well that was a complete waste of time. See, this is what happens when I play Sims. Like, I won't want them to have another kid. And then I do end up like have like a brief like, well what if they just did? And then they get pregnant and then they have this kid and I'm tired of raising babies and I just lose interest in the family. So I think we're not going to have another one. Sorry, Eduardo. It's not happening. Thank you for joining me on this random sprint of space. Anyway, this is Eduardo. Uh, he's a workaholic, clumsy, virtuoso, good angler. His favorites, he's a Sagittarius. I have him in the firefighter career because I like that for him. I do. Um, and this is our dog. His name's Alberto. Uh, and a, he's always been an outside dog because we actually adopted him when we were homeless and we lived in a tent and we had a hut for our toilet and our shower. So Alberto has always been, in my mind, a little bit of an outside dog. And when we moved in here, you know, he tried to be an indoor dog. But in the end, with all of the kids, he was like... I want to stay away and let me live outside. So I only ended up getting him because he was a big dog. Um, I don't know what breed he is, but he's a big dog. What breed are you? Does it say? It doesn't say. Okay. Uh, anywho, uh, it's a big dog. I mean, if you're looking at it, you could probably tell what type of dog it is. And I was like, I want a big dog when they live on a farm. And I saw him in the adoption. I was like, yes. You're not like a weird mutt, ugly mutt breed that the Sims have. You actually have a you have a Brett breed, and it's great. So I adopted him, and his name's Alberto. What? I did not know he was aggressive. I learn something new every day because I literally just send this dog to eat and chew on a chew toy and whatever else he does. I'm like, I don't really care. I have so many kids. To t I had so many little toddlers to take care of. So. There's that birth, though. All right. I'm surprised. He's an elder. He's 33 days old. Um, all right. Let's move on to our kids. And I'll tell you guys what their names mean and why I named them that. Okay. So. This is going to be my heir. I'm pretty sure he's going to be my heir. His name is Era. E-R-A. And I looked up Italian names that mean wind. And this was, it's not Italian, but it popped up right under the Italian name. 
I got one name that means Italian, in Italian that means wind. I got Celeste, and we had a boy, and I was like, that's not gonna work. So the name right under it, under it, I think was Arabian? That could be wrong, um, but it said Era, and I liked it. So, that is him. He's named, coincidentally, after the weather here in Colorado. It's unbelievably windy here in Colorado. It has been all of April. So, that's him. Era is going to probably be my heir, uh, and he's good, loves the heat, easily impressed, and um, when he turns into a teenager, which will be tomorrow, he is going to be family oriented because that's one of the traits that they have to have, and I'm going to read over the rules again, just to make sure that there's no other stuff that I need to get, but basically, Generation 2 is he's a teacher, so he's going to be super smart, he's going to want to adopt kids, um, have a big family, and I'm so excited. Uh, he is, likes the color line, mac and cheese, pop music, and he's a Scorpio. He's a B student right now, but tomorrow, hopefully, we'll get that up to an A. I want to have him have an A in every single grade, since I wouldn't be, like, super smart. He's going to be a teacher, you know? It makes sense. He doesn't have any traits, 100% homework, there's not a lot to era, he's a child, you know. Uh, his sister, on the other hand, just aged up, I think today, yes, today. This is his sister, Raffaella, Raffaella, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I thought when I named her that, I was like, oh, her nickname will be Ella, so it'll be Era and Ella, but I call her Rafa all the time. I don't know if I'm, like, trying to do what Lone Star, you know, the actor who plays TK and uh, Carlos, his name is Raphael, I believe. Um, and so his nickname is very similar to Rafa, or I'm not, I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't really know. Could be baking that up. I've literally only, only heard it from Ronan once, but... Uh, Raffaella is what her name is. I like the name, actually. Uh, it's, suppose, it's, the name, it's like, God. I don't, I don't know if it means God of nature, or if I added of nature to try and fit it. But era means wind. Wind is in the world. It's something made by Mother Nature. This means God, or God of nature. I'll put the actual definition on the screen. And that God is a part of nature, no matter what you believe. If you believe in God, he's somehow related to nature. Um, so she's a house potato, brave, and a party animal. Uh, she likes aqua music, vegetarian fish and chips, roots music. Did I say aqua music? Oh well. And the Pisces. She's going to be a vocal legend. She got that wish. I was like, you're not going to be my heir. Go for it, Rafa. I don't care. And she literally just aged up today, so she does not have a lot. There's not a lot to Rafa. And then our final little baby, apparently our final one, because he wanted a third one, uh, and we're not, I mean a fourth one, and we just, we're not going to get it. So, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with. I have to have four kids in the next generation. You know what I mean? Um... Okay, you can literally already see that she has her dad's jawline. <laughs> so I think Era looks very similar to his dad, um, especially with his face shape. Of course, he's just a kid, so when he ages up, he might look a little bit more different. Amora, or Amore, I call her Amore, uh, Amore, uh, she is named... Amore means love in Italian, and at least that's what Google told me, and she was actually born the day after her parents got married on Love Day, so that's kind of what the thing came from, and Raffaella, I was going to name her after the sky, because the night she was born, the sky was very beautiful, but um, I looked up Italian names for the sky, and I ended up on God of Nature, so that's how we got Rafa. Um, but this is her. She's got her mom's hair, her mom's eyes, like her mom's like nose. I'm pretty sure, and her mom's little itty bitty ears. But as you can tell, her jawline is very much so Eduardo's. Um, she's literally just aged up into a toddler today, so she's just a slob and loves the heat. <gasps> but her favorite music is country music, which we all know country music is the only way to live. So, Amora, I love you. Girlie, I love you. So, 
Anyway, that's the family. That's this chaotic Generation 1 for my whimsy story. I am really excited to play Generation 2. Basically, what I know from Generation 2 is we adopt four kids, we're a teacher, we have to have a pet the entire time, so I think he's probably going to end up getting a cat or something soon, maybe for his birthday, we'll have to see. Don't really know where we would put a cat, unless he was going to be an outdoor cat, I don't really know, um, but, uh, yeah, it's a pretty chaotic household. There's always something going on, but I really love this family, and hopefully after I made this current household, my love for them doesn't die like it does tend to a lot of the times. I don't know how quick these updates are going to be or how quick I'm going to be posting these current households. I have a job. I have to do school. I'm supposed to write, and I need to read. Look at that, guys. That shelf right there the one that's got the books falling down all my library books from the library that i work at so yeah i kind of need to get to them so anywho uh this is just the family thank you so much for watching tell me if you have a favorite do you have a favorite name for my little heirs um do you have a favorite heir oh look yes Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Do you guys want to see more current households about my decades challenge? Probably not going to continue. It's not because I wasn't having fun. It's because uh, I lost the face cam footage and therefore the audio for like episode 7. And uh, therefore I just ended up deleting like 7 and 8 and whatever was before that that I hadn't posted and also I just don't really enjoy editing these Sims videos. I love filming them. I love playing Sims. Editing them, not so much. But thank you so much for watching. I love you all so very much. I'll see you guys all next time for another video of this or well the next time you'll see my face is probably for this but I'm working on some edits. I don't know when they're going to be up. But, uh, anywho, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, so very much. I'll see you all next time for another video. Hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, everyone.